Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for uh, Aquarius. This is going to be for your November 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, separated from what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So let's get started here for Aquarius. You can apply this to new love, current love, or an ex. Tell me about Aquarius, the person that Aquarius is dealing with, thinking of, separated from, their true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Ace of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles, okay. It does seem like whoever this is, you know, this person's realizing that they're destined to be with you here or that this person's coming to a realization. They want to build a life here with you, okay? The Ace of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Sun card, Leo energy, and the Death card here, Scorpio energy. It's an interesting because I almost get the sense that this person's feeling like you change them, okay? You're changing them for the better here, Okay. I feel like, you know, whoever this is, I feel like this person was not a really happy person, you know, before they met you here. And I feel like you've changed this person's heart, you've changed this person's mind here, you've changed this person's consciousness and awareness here too, okay? The Ace, uh, the Wheel of Fortune here, and also the Ten of Pentacles. Here is the thing with the situation here between you and your person here. I do feel like, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I do feel like it's destined to turn into something more. It's destined to turn into fulfillment, commitment. A wish fulfillment here. Fulf uh, ful I keep repeating myself. Fulfillment. So, you know, I do feel like, you know, whatever is happening here, this is destined to happen. You know, I do feel like this was written in the stars for you guys. I feel like this person was meant to meet you for a reason. You're meant to meet this person for a reason here. Okay. And I really do feel like whoever this is, you know, this person sees the potential here, but also this person's worried and fearful here too. Okay. Uh, they're worried and fearful of opening themselves up emotionally and being vulnerable here so you know this person might come off a bit closed off this person might be scared this person might be worried that they will get hurt again okay but you know i do feel like you know i do feel like you know when it comes to this connection between you and your person here i do believe that it could be very 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 healing here tell me about the sun card why is the sun card here and the higher fit yeah i do feel like you know when this person you know, this person will feel like they're going through some sort of spiritual transformation here. This person's going to come to some sort of realization that you guys are meant to be together. You guys are soulmates here, you know? I do feel like, you know, between you and your person, there's definitely a very strong soul tie. This can be very healing and also very transformative here too, okay? This is definitely a past life soulmate connection. Now, this could be someone that you have just met or that this is someone that you're just, you know, have been dealing with here for a while and that, you know, someone here is coming to a realization of this here. What else do we have for four Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this situation, this love situation for November 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. For Aquarius here, for Aquarius, sorry. Seven of Swords here and the Emperor. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Emperor here. Yeah, this person has a tendency to self-sabotage here. Yeah, this person has a tendency to self-sabotage, but I do feel like this person wants to step up to a plate here. You want the Star card again in the Ace of Wands here. So, you know, I do feel like this person finds you very attractive. This person has passion here towards you. But this person does have a tendency to self-sabotage really good things that happen in their life here, okay? With the Judgment card here and the Lovers, this person seems like they're going through a soulmate awakening. Yeah, they're going through some sort of soulmate awakening here. So, like I said, this person's coming to realization of the potential of what can happen between you and your person here as you guys move forward together here, 
okay? Yeah, I do feel like you guys can really have a great relationship together. You know, as long as you guys are keeping on tabs on your own traumas and your own pain and your own hurt and you're working on them actively and that you're not putting it on somebody else, things will be perfect here, okay? Obviously, you know, when we're in relationships, you know, sometimes we could trigger each other, you know? We are a direct mirror of, we are a reflection of the person that we attract, right? So a lot of times the person that we attract right back uh, you know, attract, you know, they reflect right back at us what we need to work on and what we need to heal, vice versa, you know, for both people here. That's, you know, if both people are very conscious and aware, okay? With the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, it does seem like whoever this is, this person wants to give it a go. This person wants to do it. This person wants to manifest here with you. With the Ace of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, with the two of pentacles here, I feel like they're doing everything that they can to keep this together, to keep this going here, okay? We have the star card and the five of pentacles. We have the judgment card and the chariot, cancer energy. Five of pentacles, the star card. We have the uh, 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 chariot, cancer energy. We have the uh, lovers here. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? And the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. You know, like I said, I feel like somebody is going through some sort of soulmate awakening here. We have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck two times here. Strong past, like, soulmate connection between you and your person here. Okay? You guys are going to feel like you have known each other for a very long time. But, you know, there is someone here that you're dealing with. I mean, it could be you, it could be the other person. Where someone here is in denial here. Where it's going to take this person some time to realize that this is a soulmate connection here, okay? Yeah, because I do feel like, you know, some here is quite worried. I feel like some here is going to realize it, but they're going to push it away, but then they're going to realize it again. The three of wands here, and the hangman here. Yeah, here's the thing. This could be an on and off situation here, where there will be breaks in between, before this person finally realizes it, okay? So, you know, I do feel like it can be a bit of an up and down roller coaster ride, but... You know, I do feel like, you know, in this situation, you know, maybe, uh, you know, patience is required here, okay? We have the Six of Cups again, and also the Ten of Pentacles here, yeah. Like I said, this could be, turn out into something really great here, because we have the Ten of Pentacles two times here, and then we have the Six of Cups again, okay? With the Eight of Wands here, and also the Two of Cups. So, you know, I feel like you guys are meant to meet each other here, okay? And it's going to take this person some time to realize that. So, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.